to connect the radiant to shore power, simply grab the lead, lift up the cover, and plug it in like so. Put the cap down to protect it from the weather. When you're not using it, simply lift it up, push down the blue tab, and pull it out like so. The gas lock on radiant is located underneath the back step. Simply lift it up. Underneath you have two gas bottles. These will both be turned on. If one of them runs out, it will automatically switch onto the other bottle. In between the two bottles, you have a yellow switch. This switch is your isolation switch. So in case of emergency and you smell gas, come back to here instantly and turn that switch off. Then please give us a call to inform us. The inverter is located underneath the helm seat. It has three positions, on, off, and charger only. If you want power to your sockets and 240, Simply turn the switch to on and it will power up and now your sockets will be live. If you're not using it, turn it in the off position to preserve power. If you can plug in to shore power, simply press it over to charge it only and this will charge up your batteries. To use the radio, simply push and hold the on button on the top left, like so. And you have the volume here and to turn it off, push and hold like so. To use the TV, ensure that you've turned the satellite on and turn the TV on using this remote. You then use the FreeSat remote to change the channels depending on what channel you want to watch. If you want the DVD player, go back to the TV remote, press source which is on the second at the top, go down to DVD like so and your DVD slots just here on the right hand side. The heater is located in the helm position. You have a thermostat here, and the top left button is cold air, so the boat will circulate the air that's in the boat. The top right is hot air, and after about eight to 10 minutes, it'll start providing you with hot air, and then you have up and down arrows to try and provide you with what temperature you've set it to. Also at the helm position, you have six switches. You have a horn, you have the fridge, which obviously you need to leave on, and you have a wine fridge, which you'd obviously need to leave on and fully stop. You then have a windscreen wiper, your water pump, which you'd leave on, and your bilge pump, which you'd leave on auto like so. On the dash of Radiant, you have several dials. You have your fuel here, which will be fully topped before you depart. You have your revometer in the middle, which will determine how fast you travel. So four mile an hour is roughly 1100 revs. And then down here, you have your waste tank, your water, and your rear waste tank as well. Your waste tanks will be empty upon arrival, and the water will be full. To start up this boat, please ensure that your throttle is in the neutral position like so, and the one on the upper helm. Simply pull the throttle out like so, so you get a gap, and push the revs forward. This will help the boat when starting it in the mornings. Turn the key to the left to preheat, and then after eight seconds, simply turn it to the right and start her up. Slowly ease the throttle backwards into the neutral position and when it hits neutral it will automatically push back in, like so. This is when you'd go untie the ropes and depart. To stop the boat, push and hold the stop button and turn the key to off. To use the bow thruster, simply push the on button on so the red light appears and if you want the bow of the boat to go left, push it nozzle left. If you would like it to go right, push it right. Try not to use these in two little bursts as it drains the power and also try not to use them in too long bursts as that also drains the power. So roughly three to eight seconds is ideal. The upper and lower helm switch is here. Simply pull out the switch and turn it accordingly like so. When you're in line with it, so we're now on lower steering and when you're in line with upper steering, you're on upper steering. Please ensure that both throttles are in neutral. If not, this will get stuck and will not turn. If you want to use the hob, please ensure that the glass is fully up. You've got your isolation switches just down here, and when they're in line with the pipe, they're turned on. Simply push in the gas nozzle and light it like so. When you're finished with it, please ensure that the hob is cold enough to put the glass back down, and please remember to turn off the gas switches. To flush this toilet, simply use the electric flush and push and hold to flush. After you've used the shower facility, please ensure that you push and hold the shower pump to drain all the waste water out of the shower tray.